Welcome everybody, I'm Corey Graves. I'm happy to introduce you to the biggest and best channel on YouTube for WWE Champions, Gersans Gaming. I'm in the mood to show someone here, right here tonight, what ruthless aggression is all about. And was the poster boy, he said it, ruthless aggression. In fact, I am issuing a challenge to anyone in that locker room. All right, now we're going to have a look at Kurt Angle. So as with Edge, they were not able to send us preview video. So all of us content creator got to try on our own angle. So they, they put it in our account so that we can test. Unfortunately, we don't get to keep him. Once we're done recording this, they're taking it out of our account and we won't have them anymore. So it's basically just to record the footage. Let's have a look first move set i'm going with is going to be the yellow blue yellow this is the moonsault 8 mp yellow move deal 15.7k damage and make five random countdown gems into x break gems the angle slam 4 mp blue move deal 5.7k damage and choose three x break gems to destroy and the release german suplex 1 mp Yellow move, deal 3k damage, and make 14 random gems into two, two turn countdown gems that will deal zero damage and destroy one random X break gems when activated. Trainers, I, come, I got a cam to start with four more yellows, and I got DDP so that my moonsault makes seven instead of five. I got Jason Jordan here to reduce the submission and don't really care for zombie charlotte in there fairly simple move set basically what you want to do the one mp uh, yellow here you're going to want to release every turn it's going to make a basically countdowns all over the board once you got your yellow ready with one match uh, you're going to convert seven random ones into x break and by then your blue should be ready so that you can break three of them, try to line them up to break the best ones. And uh, those that don't break, well, on the next turn, the remaining countdown gems that are going to be there are going to break the remaining X gems. And normally it should be a whole lot of blasting on the board. So it looks pretty fun. Let's go see how it looks once you do it in a match. All right. So I need a yellow match, which I definitely have right here. Now we'll be able to use all three moves. Let's just get out of the spin. Alright, so I'm gonna start by making a bunch of countdown. Could have done them on the first turn, but it really didn't matter much. Now we're gonna make seven of those into X gems randomly. And now we're gonna pick three to destroy. This one is gonna destroy this, who's gonna destroy this. Let's pick this one because it's going to give us yellows. And this one as well. Alright, 79k. We're going to need another yellow match. Fortunately, we don't have one. We will. Put more of those here. I have one that's gonna expire soon. My blue is ready. Let's just, just for some damage, we're gonna break this one. I didn't have any good move I could do anyway. That refilled my yellow. Oh, 
gonna put more of those out. I'm gonna convert some, even though I don't have the blue to break them. The reason is really simple. I got a one and there and a one there, and this is gonna make them go boom. Hundred and thirty-seven thousand with that, and he's done. That worked really well. All right, let's try. Let's have a look at something else. different move set this time I'm gonna be using red blue blue this is the ankle lock submission 10 MP red place 8 submission gem and do 8.6k damage for four turn while submission gems are on the board remaining sub gems turn into X break gems angle slam deal 5.7k damage and choose three X break gems to destroy and the Avalanche Belly to Belly Suplex deals 17.1k damage and make 3 random gems into X Break Gems. Using Lawler to have that blue start with more. And DDP to have the Belly to Belly Suplex make 5 random gem, uh, 5 random X Break instead of 3. Basically, the break is hopefully gonna fuel up the ankle lock that required 10. Otherwise, if we can't make a blue match, maybe make a red match to help with that. And here, I'm going to use X-Pack just to help out with that, with the red. And uh, we'll see if that works or not. We got a blue match here. Not a lot of reds on the board. We're gonna create our X gems. Now we're gonna break them and we wanna go for uh, basically blue or red. But in this case, I can break all five so it doesn't matter. This is going to break that, this is going to break that, and this one's going to break on its own. And we'll hope for the best as far as getting blue and reds. That went pretty well, because that refilled the blue. So we'll be able to do that again on the next turn. Let's create five X gems. break this is again we're going to be able to break all five because this is going to break this this is going to break this and this one's going to break on its own that filled the submission Kick out of that. Oops. Right. I'm gonna put eight of those. So most of those survive. It's six turns, so he has good chance of getting rid of a lot of them. So the board is gonna move a lot within six turns. It's 
taking out a lot of his MP with 8 turns though. So we have 3 that survived, but now we're gonna add 5 of those. Now we're gonna delete tree or destroy tree. This is gonna take out those two, this is gonna take out those two, and this is gonna take three of them. That's gonna do quite a bit. And it's over. This worked a lot better than I expected it would. A lot better than I expected it would. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Alright, let's see if we can figure out another moveset. Alright, now we're gonna have a look at a last spec for Kurt Angle. It is the red, blue, red. Doesn't look like much when you have a look just like that on paper. But uh, I did a couple matches and it was really good. So let's have a look. It is the ankle lock submission. Place eight submission gems and do 8.6k damage for four turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. The angle slam deal 5.7k damage and choose three X break gems to destroy. And the milk carton toss. That deals 9.2k damage and decreases the damage of all your opponent gems by 100 for one turn. The way you want to play this is get that submission out as soon as possible. Don't use the other red move when it's ready. Do your submission first. Then your remaining X gems that are going to be on the board. Then you use your Milk Carton Tusk so that the next turn he's not going to do any gem damage whatsoever. And then you use your Angle Slam so that you break those X generate the pinfall and since he doesn't do any gem damage for his first turn he's not going to be able to kick out of that first pin the first is usually the biggest so then he only has two turns to kick out of the pin which most of the time he does not and the match usually finish and he still have half, half his health left and he just couldn't kick out so trainers, it is thing to start with four more red MP and a Ric Flair so that gems do 14% more damage. Uh, also have Jason Jordan to reduce the submission in case I get hit by one and x pack to help regen that red with getting one more MP. Let's go see in practice what I'm telling you. Right, so against Daniel O'Brien, we do not have a red match. Uh, so we set one up for the next round. All right, we do have one now. Unfortunately, he's getting both green moves out before I can use my submission since I was delayed because I didn't have red. Uh, and now we're going to use that submission. that Now we're going to use that milk carton so that next turn he's not going to make any gem damage. And we're going to break some gems. 
this is going to break those three. This and this. Alright, let's see what that does. So we did 99k. That didn't do any damage out of that. And he could not kick out. That worked perfectly as intended. And also the first turn that the computer kicks out of pin is often the one where they're gonna get that crazy cascade. And uh, well, with that, even if he does, he's not kicking out of that first cascade because it doesn't do anything. Their second and third, they rarely ever have cascades on those. So really, I mean, it really doesn't look like much on paper. But when you play a match with it, it goes really well. The only time that you may, may get screwed up is if you basically take quite a few turns before you get your red. But that's true for pretty much every spec. So, all right. Let's go back. All right, so that's it for Angle. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Again, this is not my character. It was put in my account just as a testing purpose to record this. They're gonna take it out of my account and I'm not gonna have it anymore and I'm gonna have to earn it just like everyone. So if, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao. Lord Gerson, I am WWE superstar Lacey Evans, and I am the most classy, confident, and sophisticated lady you have ever laid your eyes on. Now, it has also been brought to my attention that you run a YouTube channel for Gerson's Gaming, and I think that that is awesome, and I just might have to go check it out myself. So remember, Gerson, keep it classy. And try your best not to be a nasty.